what's up everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a freestyle set and the theme color is green i've decided to start using my practice hand to do videos just to give myself some practice on working with the acrylic making designs freestyle and things of that nature as i stated in previous videos i do have the red iguana practice hand and this hand for some reason i do not like the red iguana hand um <clears throat> excuse me it's just a lot of maintenance and i'd rather not deal with it it is good to use the red iguana hand if you want to practice cuticle application around that area and cleaning up but for the most part, I find it best to use this hand here when I want to just freestyle applying acrylic and practicing designs. So here I'm just trying to figure out what tips I want to use. I love the clear straight tips when I'm going in for a coffin or a narrow ballerina shape. So I wasn't sure what I was going in for. So I just decided to use my full tips i'll leave my tips link down below and that way i can shape the shape that i want in my mind i wanted to practice the lipstick shape that everyone is wearing but i couldn't i couldn't just draw myself to do that it's something about that shape i just don't really care for it and i've never had anyone ask me to do that shape so i stuck with what i know here i'm just gluing on the tips they apply easy to the practice hand and then I'll just go in and figure out afterwards what shape I want to do. So after applying the tips, I realized I just wanted to go in with a stiletto shape. So that's the look that I went for. And I'll show you guys how I get my stiletto shape precise without doing too much filing. I go in with scissors and I like to keep the nails pretty long so I just cut off the tip of the nail where the number is and then went into shaping. As you can see, the shape is pretty much cut into the shape that I want, a stiletto. I'm just going in with the 80 grit, 80 grit file and just cleaning up the edges. Here, this finger did break on me and I glued it back and I don't know if you guys can tell but it is glued back a little bit crooked but I didn't want to mess with it anymore so I'm trying to be as delicate as possible when filing but I'm just going in still shaping up the nail and then I take the file and go over top of the nail just to rough up the surface of the nail I believe that that helps the acrylic adhere 
to the nail better when the surface is rough. So I'm just going in to blend the tip of that nail in some with the practice fingernail. And like I told you guys in the beginning, or as you can see by the title, this is a green theme. So I went in with different color greens. This green here is by iGel Beauty. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I will link it down below. And this is one of those colors that blend just like butter. So smooth, so pigmented. And I'm actually going to order a backup of this color because it's really hard to find a deep green that is this beautiful and inexpensive so i'm freestyling i don't know what i'm doing i'll let you guys watch and down below i will list every acrylic that i am using i will tell you from the jump that i am using eye gel beauty not polish nsi um, beauty hut and valentino all on this hand here so i'll link everything down below with the shades
So now this is my favorite part. I'm going in with very small beads of clear acrylic to adhere my gold foil flakes to. And I like to add gold foil flakes when I blend colors together like this, just so that there's no harsh lines showing. So for this part of the video, I'm just decorating the nails a little bit. I'll hop back on before the end of the video. Now that I have my design down the way I want it, I am going to go in and encapsulate them. I have a little bit of clear speed acrylic left from Young Nail, so I am going to go over the nail and encapsulate it with the clear. I have just enough to encapsulate these four nails, which was perfect. I am finishing up the nails here. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Comment down below if you are a beginner and you have a YouTube channel or Instagram page that you would like me to follow. I love to see what other beginner nail techs are doing. Here, I'm just cleaning out the container because I do save my containers when they're empty. I use the containers to make custom acrylics. Don't forget to subscribe. I do have a really good story time coming up that you don't want to miss. And yeah, that's pretty much it here. I'm just going to show you guys different rhinestones you can add to enhance the nails even more. I did not add any just because I didn't want to waste them. And this video was more about practice and application and design with acrylic. Again, thanks for watching, and I will check you guys out in my next video. Bye.